Imagine you see a parent do or say something concerning his or her minor child that you consider to be really bad parenting, but not physically or mentally harmful to the child. Do you intervene and say something to try to improve the parenting? What about the government? Consistent with the Constitution, may the government intervene in the parent-child relationship short of stopping physical or mental harm to the child. The United States Supreme Court first addressed this issue in Meyer v. Nebraska, a case involving an elementary school teacher but indirectly involving the rights of his students' parents. In 1920, in Hamilton County, Nebraska, Robert Meyer worked as a teacher in a parochial school operated by the Zion Evangelical Lutheran Congregation. He taught religion at the school, which included students from German-speaking homes. In accordance with the wishes of his students' parents, he taught certain religious matters in German rather than English. One day, while he was reading Bible stories to 10-year-old students from a German book, a local prosecutor appeared at the door of his classroom. After the prosecutor witnessed Meyer speaking in German to his students, he filed charges against Meyer under a new state law enacted at the end of World War I, which prohibited the use of any foreign languages for instructional purposes in public or private schools below the ninth grade. Meyer was convicted in state trial court and fined $25. He appealed to the Nebraska Supreme Court, which affirmed his conviction. Meyer then appealed to the United States Supreme Court. 